Hi YouTube, Natalie here, and today I am going to do a video to answer a young lady's question that was posted on my classroom tour video. She asked me to go through all of my posters and show them in detail, so here we go. I'm going to try my best to go pretty slowly so that if you want to pause, you can go ahead and do that. Have to excuse how shaky the camera is being held because I don't know how much time is left on my camera but I'm gonna try my best to go pretty fast so that I can show you all all the posters you know I got pretty excited when I saw that question so again thank you so much for that and when you all have any questions I love responding to them either by text or with a response video. So thank you for that question again. I really hope this is helpful. I hope I'm going slow enough so that you can see. She also asked me um, how long did it take for me to complete these posters and honestly it took about five weeks. Um, a friend and I actually the teacher next door, we would stay after school <laughs> and it's pretty funny, we'd had a blast creating these posters. Okay, now I'm going to go up here to the math posters, which is what I believe she really wanted to see. Try to zoom in a little bit. Actually working with a brand new camera, so I'm pretty sure there's some features to this camera that I need to sit down and dwell into because it's a Nikon and I want to make the best use of this lovely camera. Okay, I'm trying to zoom in a little bit more for you guys. Sorry too about the glare from the lights. Um, kind of need the light on, so it's somewhat dark in here without the light. And there's just my board where I write the students' homework down. Here's another area with more posters. <laughs> and, you know, all of these posters. Sorry about that bell. All of these posters really do help them with their um, tests or other different procedures that they need to follow. Okay, and I'm going to pan back this way. I'm so sorry about <laughs> making you dizzy. I'm going to start right here. This is a pretty long poster. I use this poster for round two of the Daily Five, which is work on writing, and so my kids work on a letter to me. And it takes them about a week to finish the letter um, because round two is only 15 minutes. There's also a rubric. I hope I can zoom in on that. That goes with it. Okay, and here goes nonfiction text features. It's another long poster. <laughs> and now I'm going to pan over here. <laughs> How to write a math extended response. And how to write a reading extended response using text examples and connections. Gonna zoom over here. More math posters up here above my whiteboard. Put this back up just a little bit. <laughs> Put 
respect family. Um, and these division and multiplication posters really help them because when they are doing word problems, they can go ahead and circle or underline or highlight the key words that help them to figure out what to do. Very helpful. Odd and even, can't go wrong with that. Conversions. Okay, and more posters right here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to <laughs> zoom out a little bit so you guys can see both posters together because they do work together. Um, the green that's on the left poster is mentioned in detail on the right poster and the pink and the black and the brown and so on. I sit correctly at your desk which is right in front of the classroom. Spelling spree poster which is actually activities that we do for round three of the daily five um, they use their spelling words and they pick an activity and complete it 15 minutes for round three as well round one is read silently and that one is the longest round at 30 minutes um, what I love about the daily five is that you can just go ahead and cater it to your own needs this poster is very useful. It's right here up with my guided reading table. Very helpful for my students when trying to dissect reading passages and the questions that are associated with those passages for a standardized test. Okay, and then right here is Classroom Pledge with my students' pictures around it. They have it memorized, it works wonders. <laughs> Especially the trustworthy and truthful part. <laughs> you can always refer back to that. And that's a poster that you all saw in detail um, in my first video. And as you can see, it goes with my word wall that you also saw in my first video. I have some things on top of that shelf because it is the last day of school before summer break. <laughs> and as you can see, no students. <laughs> but I'm proud of my students. They did very well this year. Um, thank you so much, YouTube, for watching. Thank you again, the person who posted the question. Um, and anytime you all have questions, please post them. I am so happy to respond. Have a great summer. Grace and peace.